So far, we have looked at a lot of creative ways people have been using to draw water from different water sources. Once drawn, they have been using a network of channels to distribute that water across all the plants in the farm. This method of distribution though came with a few problems, especially in areas where the land is not even throughout. So let's say there was like a small hill in the farm, the water simply just couldn't reach. And also they realized that this is leading to a lot of water wastage. If you think about it a little more, when you're pouring water into this network of channels, there is a lot of water absorbed along the way. So that very last plant that needs water, to be able to reach that, you need to pour a lot more water in that source when compared to, let's say, just directly pouring water for that plant. In addition, this source where all the water was poured definitely had a lot of water which also led to water stagnation. Now, because of these reasons, people started searching for other alternate methods of water distribution. Let's look at two such methods. The first one is the sprinkler system. In this, we have a network of pipes that are connected to a motor on one end. And at regular intervals, we have perpendicular pipes which has rotating nozzles attached to them on the top. When water is pushed by the motor at high pressure, it travels up these pipes and the nozzle sprinkles them in all directions Thereby, it's almost as if it is raining on these crops. When compared to the channels, because there is no absorption of water when it is transported through the farm, there is much less water wastage. So let's look at the next method. Next method is called drip irrigation. In this, we also have pipes that are laid out across the farm but they are laid out in such a way that they can reach pretty much every crop in the farm. And there are small holes on each of these pipes which let the water slowly drip very close to the root of the plant. When we think about places where there is water shortage, this is a great way to irrigate the farm because water is provided directly to the root of the plant and there is absolutely no water wastage. When we think about the sprinkler system versus the drip irrigation method, sprinkler system is actually much easier to initially set up. But because of the way that it actually sprinkles water all over the plants, there is some amount of water that's wasted due to evaporation. So when we compare it with drip irrigation, the initial setup cost is high because you have to lay out these pipes across the entire farm. But once that is done, it is very efficient, it's absolutely efficient in delivering water because there is no wastage at all. You can deliver precisely the amount of water that is needed by the crop directly to the root of the uh, plant. So in places where water shortage is a big problem, this can be a really good method for irrigation. So let's do a quick summary. We looked at two modern methods for water distribution that avoid water wastage during the transportation. So we looked at the sprinkler system first, and then we looked at drip irrigation. So up next, we will look at what are all the possible dangers that the plants can face now that they are really growing large. We'll also look at different methods the farmers use to protect the plants against these dangers.